in a moment I'll turn towards the camera and say, oh, hello. Oh, okay. Oh, hello, and thank you for joining us. We here at Rooster Teeth Productions pride ourselves on hiring only the best and brightest minds. I'd like to welcome today Mr. Jordan Swears, who creates the Rooster Teeth Animated Adventures. If you're ready, I'd like to begin our questions. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Why do you have a clipboard? I think it's time somebody asked you some questions. So I say I don't think this is fair. What will we be talking about today? We're going to be talking about Harry Potter. Well, it's unfortunate for all of you with this clever ruse that I know everything there is to know about Harry Potter. Oh, really? I have read all eight books, and I have seen the movies. How many movies? Eight? No, nine. Oh, okay. Because they made an extra one for the last one. Let's begin, shall we? Oh, absolutely. What are the four houses of Hogwarts? There is Slytherin, and they're the bad guys. Mm -hmm. There Very is good. Gryffindor. Harry is in Gryffindor with his friends. House Baratheon, that's in Game of Thrones. It's one of the few crossovers that they have. That's true. They happen a lot, though. And then there is Jigglypuff, if I recall correctly. Jigglypuff, that's correct, actually. Yes. What is Voldemort's real name? Vincent de Mort. Very good. What are the followers of Voldemort called? Soul Eaters. Soul Eaters. If you are a Soul Eater, what does the mark on your forearm do? It makes it so that you can pass through walls and you can't be seen in the dark. What is the Goblet of Fire? The Goblet of Fire is a cup that is on fire and it was a relic that had to be uh, rediscovered by Harry Potter and his friends in order to solve one of their problems. And Harry was the one who found it. It didn't seem like he was going to, but with wits, he overcame his problems, and everyone was happy. What happened to Ron's brother, Fred? Fred, he ends up marrying, no, he is, gosh, so many characters, and they're also lovable. And memorable. Fred, Ron's brother, couldn't make it into Hogwarts because he doesn't know any magic. Let's move on to some visual aids. Okay. Who is this? That's Dumbledore. Who is this? That's Fred Weasley. Very good. You're doing great. Thank you. Which character is this? That is the dude from Twilight. You're not gonna fool me. <laughs> Although he would have been good in Harry Potter because somebody would have killed him. Somebody would have killed him. My first guess would have been Voldemort, but no. I, come on, you can't fool me. Which character does this actor play? <laughs> oh, jeez. That is, that, that is Harry Potter and his stone. <laughs> Sorcerer's stone. And his magical broom <laughs> handle. Let's do some rapid fire questions. Oh great, I will excel at this. What can a parcel tongue help you do? Deliver packages to people who need them. Very good. Where does Moaning Myrtle live? She lives in the Moaning Forest, which is fucking annoying. What are mudbloods? They live in the swamps and they hurl mud at you. What is Ron most afraid of? His evil brother Fred. Polyjuice makes people do what? Makes them turn into clones of themselves. Who does Snape fall in love with? Well, I know Dumbledore's gay, so there we go. No. He doesn't like to talk about it. What happened with the Whomping Willow? The Whomping Willow was chopped down by Voldemort and they had to replant it. And that helped solve a problem with wits. What is the Order of the Phoenix? First you have a red phoenix, then the blue phoenix, then the green phoenix, and then there's a black phoenix. And when they appear in that order, everybody's fucked. Yeah, everybody's fucked. Well, thank you, Bernie. Thank you very much for nobody, answering my questions. Nobody even asked me about Dobby. That's my favorite character. He's like, give him a sock, and he goes crazy. All right, well, thanks, man. Well, How did, I think I did really well. You scored beyond perfect. You should have dug deeper and got better questions for me. Yeah, I wish we would have had something. That would have stumped you. Read the books. You'll enjoy them. Well, should I thank you for joining me, or you thank me for joining you? How does this work exactly? I've never done it this way before. I think we should all just be thankful. All right, well, thank you for joining us on today's episode. I think we learned a lot about Harry Potter and even a little bit about wits. Thank you for joining us.